All right, hello everyone. Um, so I just finished up my review on the PIN BBS 492 and I thought I would uh, talk a little bit about pin storage again. I haven't done a, a video on uh, pin storage in a while. And uh, this is my little dump space back here where I dump stuff I'm not using. So for the longest time, uh, you have the part of my desk, just got done shooting the video, so I've got stuff shoved everywhere. For the longest time, I used this little case here. And um, this thing worked well. I mean, it did a good job. Um, I was able to get you know a lot of pins in here, but as my pin collection's been growing, I've been running out of space. And um, so now I really just use this for like additional storage. I have some of my like pin tools in here, different things. Um, here's some feeler gauges. Thank you, Chris Rapp, for that, by the way. I, I use those um, every now and then to kind of mess with that nib flow. Um, I've got some pins that I'm like working on, whether they're like some vintage pins. This is a random diode for some reason for my old truck. I don't know why that's in there. Um, and then I've got like some of my nibs and different things down here. So this has been working good for like just random storage. But um, I got this thing, this little uh, tool. It's technically a tool chest or whatnot off of Harbor Freight Tools. So like Harbor Freight, for those of you that may not know, um, that's like a North American tool place. They kind of sell like um, like cheaper quality tools. Um, and some of their tools are actually pretty nice. I mean, you know, so, but definitely like a low cost tool place that you can go to buy tools. They do have brick and mortar stores as well as an online site. One of the cool things about Harbor Freight sometimes is, so they always are sending out like coupons and stuff. So like if there's something that you really want to try, you can sometimes wait, get like a 20% off coupon. And that's what I did in this case. This is, I think normally like around a hundred dollars and I paid like 70 something. I think I paid $75 with this thing. I think I had like a 25% off coupon on a one item. And so that was what was really cool. So. I've got, you know, a decent amount of um, storage space with this thing. And um, so here we see kind of one of the drawers. I mean, you can tell I'm able to get quite a few pins in here. Um, the drawers move move in and out pretty easily. Like they're, they're not super difficult as far as having to pull in and out. Um, but here again, you know, I've got quite a few pins in here. I've, this is a, a pretty large pin. This is like a Gamma, their Jumbo um uh, eyedropper pin. I mean, you'll notice there's still quite a bit of space in here. So I mean, you can fit some pretty large pins in these drawers. So again, for less than a hundred dollars, I think it's not a bad buy. Is it the best quality? Not necessarily. I, this is a, uh, I think pine, at least it's what it seems like. It's definitely a softer wood, um, but it, it works good. Um, you know, up here I've got like, here's some of my pin BBS pins. You know, they all fit in here in this drawer perfectly fine. I don't have any issues whatsoever uh, getting them in and out. Um, you know, again, kind of just seeing some of the other drawers. And then these top two, again, I use for like some more storage. So there's some grinding wheels for my Dremel tool. Um, here's some brass shims, you know, just some random stuff. I've got some, uh, yeah, you know what those are. I can't, my brain doesn't want to work. But the other cool thing about it is I'm able to put a lot of my inks up here. I don't have every single one in here, but I could fit them in here. Um, now, if they're too tall, um, that's the only issue I have. There's a few ink bottles I have that are just too tall to fit in here. Um, my uh, Pilot ink bottles do fit. Now, if I had them inside of their box, they would not fit. So I actually threw away my boxes for these. Um, so that was the only thing I, you know, that's the only thing, but I'm able to actually close this. So normally when I'm not using it, I just keep this close. Um, no issue there. The other thing is, is I can lash this up and technically I can, the front cover can come up as well, which I actually broke the latch, which is my fault. I was being a Nimrod and wasn't paying attention. And I broke the latch. So I need to get that fixed, but I could actually, um, cover this up. And if I wanted to, I could technically take this with me. Um, although it would be kind of heavy and, um, but I could. So again, I think a pretty cool um, storage thing. I've seen this on a couple people. I'm not, definitely nothing original. I stole this idea, I think from somebody on uh, one of the 
either fountain pen network or maybe even Instagram. I just saw somebody using something like this. I was like, you know what? That is a really good idea. So definitely think it would be kind of cool if your pin collection is growing. You know, I think this could be something, you know, if you can get it for less than a hundred bucks, I definitely think it's worth getting. So, um, I like it works well. Uh, I've got my, uh, my grandfather was really nice and gave me one of these, uh, pin old vintage, like, uh, pin salesman cases. And, uh, this one I actually think is a Parker one. The label's pretty much worn off, but on the back side it says Parker. And so I've got a lot of my vintage pins in there. So that's uh, that's a pretty cool little case um, that works perfect for some of my vintage pins. So um, that's where they stay whenever I'm not riding with them. Um, and then I've got a few more vintage pins down there as well. So again, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I, I like the case a lot, works well. Um, there you have it. I'll stop talking now. Everyone take care.